Welcome to the Using Sign Letter Studio videos. This video is about sign letter, the arrow chooser, and detail. Whenever you select an arrow shape from the All section, such as a single straight arrow, a longer arrow, or if you already have a symbol in the sign and you click on it, you also end up with the arrow chooser. You get the arrow chooser if it's a regular arrow, or the general chooser if it's a bit more complicated of an arrow, such as this one. So you just have to try each one, so you either end up in the general chooser or in the arrow chooser. This video is about the arrow chooser. So if you click this ar uh, straight arrow, so you can choose between right hand or left hand superfluous hand or no arrowhead. So these are the three options we have for most of the arrows. Also we have the plane that this arrow is in. This is the wall plane in its different locations. Also in the floor plane. Same size arrow. And so once you've selected the arrow you want, if um, an arrow is already chosen in a sign letter you can click on it it will replace it if none are chosen and you click the add replace it will add it to the sign the faster way of doing it is using the numeric keypad so you press zero it will switch between the different types of arrows the right hand the left hand superimposed hand and the no arrow head the numbers one through four and six through nine. So you have to choose which rotation you like for the arrow. And the five will switch between the floor plane and the wall plane. And you can continue switch choosing your rotation there as well. And if you press enter, it will add it to the sign. Even if another symbol is already selected, has been selected. Some arrows have also have a flip checkbox, such as this one, which does this. It flips it the other direction, and it's secondary movement. And to do that with the keyboard, you can press the dot, and it will switch the flip direction as well. 